Hey guys, it's Holly the Twister Sister back again. It's Tuesday, so that means it's time for another free balloon animal tutorial. Woohoo! Okay, so just like I promised, this week we're gonna do another bear head balloon design, and it's for the holidays, for the winter, and it's super cute. So this is going to be a reindeer made from the big bear head balloons and he's so cute and squishy and huggable and you'll you're just gonna love him so for this reindeer he looks best with the toffee colored balloons and there really isn't a good replacement for this color in the qualitex brand of balloons uh, so you're gonna have to go with metallic on this one and get the toffee colored bear heads with the matching 360s and those you can all find on Shauna's website. This is Shauna's design and she's letting me show you guys on my channel. How awesome is that? If you guys want to see more bear head balloon animal designs, check out Shauna's channel. She has her own YouTube channel over at Simply Shauna and she's got a few more free bear head balloon designs for you guys over there along with places where you can get her DVDs if you want to learn how to make even more designs with these awesome shaped balloons. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. For this design, you're gonna need two bear head balloons. I'll be using the toffee color, and you can also do this reindeer in the caramel color if you guys picked up some of those from the last video, it's a gingerbread man. Um, this color is great for reindeers too. Um, but we're gonna be demoing the toffee color balloon today. And so you're gonna need two of those, and then you're also gonna need the toffee 260 and then you're going to need a brown 160 for the antlers and if you want to you can also add some red for a nose you could use a black nose you can add as many details as you want this is kind of optional so it doesn't take too many balloons it's a pretty quick and easy one so let's get started so i'm going to start with the first bear head balloon and just like last time we're going to blow this one up from the bottom first which means we want to inflate these two lobes here his feet uh, first you got to get the air down there first or it won't ever get there so we're gonna fold everything over so that just one lobe is showing we've got our nozzle all the way up in there and we're gonna blow it up I usually do about four pumps to get it going and then I'm gonna switch over get my pump into the lobe of the next lobe <laughs> and get some air in that one once you've got those started you can release and finish blowing up. Okay, and I'm gonna let a little air out because we don't want this last one fully inflated. And just tie that off. And you wanna leave yourself a short nozzle on this balloon tail. That way we're gonna twist this top bubble into two bubbles. So watch and learn. <laughs> All right, first we're gonna do is we're gonna twist this top lobe off here and we're gonna twist it again to make two bubbles. Try to get them as close to the same size as you can, but it's not, doesn't matter too much. And then we're gonna turn this into a pinch twist. We're gonna take this middle one here and just twist it on itself. You might have to use your big pregnant belly to help you do that. <laughs> and then take the nozzle of this guy and just wrap the nozzle around in there to kind of turn that into a wannabe pinch twist as well. Okay, so you're gonna have two little pinch twists on top of your balloon like that. And mine are kind of off-centered. So I'm just gonna play with the balloon a little bit to try to center them more. There we go, a little bit better. Ah. And this is a really cool color. Um, again, I usually use Qualitex balloons, so I don't have anything like this color. Um, but this would also be great for a ton of other things. Skin tones, perfect. So anyway. Moving on, we're going to grab a 260 toffee color, which I don't have. <laughs> I know, bad Holly, bad Holly. I'm going to order some because this design is so cute and I'm gonna order them before I put this video out so you guys don't buy them all out. Shauna sold out of the caramel colored balloons already because you guys, which is awesome though, keep at it, I love it. Um, but I just gotta go get my balloons before y'all do, apparently. Anyway, I'm gonna be using a Qualitex Blush 350 for this because it's the closest color, but it's not gonna match perfectly. But for demonstration purposes, this should be fine. So you're just gonna wanna blow your balloon up. I'm gonna leave about 
four inch, three or four inches there in the tail. And tie that off. Okay, and real simple arms. All you do is put a little bend for the elbow and make a twist. And then you're gonna twist that into your two pinch twist here on top. Now, Shauna does this a little differently. I'm gonna try a, a different way than she showed in her videos, but go check out her videos for other techniques. I like to change things up a little bit and make it my own. It's just the way I do things. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a small bubble and then I'm gonna make a pinch twist. And this is just so you don't have to rip the balloon into two for the arms, um, which if you don't mind ripping the balloon in half and starting you know, doing the other parts with the, that's fine, do that. But this is so you don't have to rip the balloon, just use all in one piece. So then I'm gonna come back down another bubble about the same size and twist it back into the two pinch twist. There we go. And then we're gonna make a little bend in what we have left and twist off another arm and we can get rid of the rest of this and cut off your excess. All right, so now we've got this, which is starting to look like a great base for a monster or a puppy dog or something. <laughs> but we're gonna turn this into a reindeer because that's what we're doing. So to continue on, we're gonna take our second bear head balloon and we're gonna blow this one up a different way. We're not going to inflate these two lobes, which are usually the feet. We're just gonna stick this on our pump like a normal balloon and start blowing. Look at those two cute little lobies. Okay, so I got a little too much air in this bottom one here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let some air out there. Squeeze it all nice, okay. All right, so when you blow up this one, you might wanna still blow up this lobe before you blow up this one, so this one doesn't get too big. But in any case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze this and we're gonna make a twist. Twist off this little first bubble here. And you're gonna make this into a pinch twist by taking the nozzle, taking the nozzle and wrapping it up around our twist. Just like that. Okay, and now to attach this to the body, we're actually gonna attach it to this pinch twist here on top. And wrap it around that pinch twist and just make sure when you're done that that pinch twist is in the back of the head. And then you've got your bare head here up top with this big old schnozzle. Okay, so now you can see this could be a great character base for all sorts of other animals. I'm thinking hippo right off the bat. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it. Um, so now at this point, we're almost done, nearly there. So what I'm gonna do is we gotta put some antlers on our reindeer, right? So I'm also gonna try to do that with one 260 and try not to break it. Although it is really cute if you break it and just do Watch Shauna's video, she shows you how to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna do big antlers on this guy just cause I think they're cute. So I'm gonna blow my balloon up, leaving about a two to three inch tail. And I'm gonna start off with a small two inch bubble and a pinch twist. And then another small two inch bubble and a pinch twist. And then I'm going to come down about three or four inches. And then to attach this, we're gonna just twist off our little ear lobes here. So just grab it, twist it, and I'm gonna twist this right around there. And I'm gonna do a pinch twist in the back. And I'm actually gonna go right across to the other ear. So I'm just gonna make a small bubble, and then I'm gonna do another pinch twist. And we're gonna pinch off this ear and twist your pinch twist around that ear. And then you can come back up the antlers matching the other side that we already did. That. And just make sure it's the same size and cut off your tails 
clean it up a little bit. All right, look how cute that guy is. <laughs> so in Shauna's video, she does a Rudolph with little stubby antlers because it's a baby reindeer. Um, these are a little bit bigger antlers. And again, there's a lot of different ways you can do antlers, um, but that's how I like to do them because they're cute. So then at this point, really you're done. You can finish this off with just artwork, but I'm gonna add a red nose because I think that would just really make this design super cute. So I'm gonna add, grab a red 350 and just put a puff of air in here. Make a nice round bubble. Take both tails, tie them together. Double knot. And cut off one of your tails. So you've got one left here. And we're just gonna wedge this right up here in between his nose and his face. Take the tail and wrap it back around the back. Now I'm gonna turn this pinch twist facing down a little bit. There we go. Ta-da! Look how cute this reindeer is. And it's so easy, huge impact, super quick. I love this. Um, if you don't understand the way I taught this, <laughs> again, Shauna teaches this design also on her YouTube channel, so go check it out. She does it a little bit differently, so you just wanna make sure you check it out anyway to see if you like the way that she teaches better. I'm gonna go ahead and draw some big old Rudolph eyes on here. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so cute. You just wanna squeeze it. You can just put your arm around it and just hold on. And he is just so cute. Makes a perfect little winter pal. <laughs> so there's our adorable Big Bear Head Rudolph balloon. Thank you again to Simply Shauna for this design and for allowing me to show everybody the big bear head balloons because I am in love with them and I need to go buy some before you're all sold out. Now, of course, if you're gonna buy big bear heads, you wanna make sure you get the matching color 260s so you don't end up with this little problem that I've got going on here. <laughs> but rest assured, I will be remedying that because I wanna make this design for all my customers at the events that I'm gonna be doing this season and probably next season and the season after that. So let me know what you guys think of this adorable reindeer. I'd love to see pictures of your creations. You can post those on my Facebook page. If you guys are overachievers and you wanna do some more advanced, complicated balloons, you can head on over to thetwistersister.com where I've got some premium video tutorials just for your type. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can't wait to hear what you think. Please leave your comments down below. If you're new here, you're gonna wanna make sure you subscribe. We put out new balloon related tutorials, tips, tricks, and reviews every single week right here on the Twister Sisters Balloon Channel. And otherwise, I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye!